Yo, 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 it's your boy Steven the Visualizer back with another video in my journey series. This is episode 14. Topic for today is going to be energy healing, how I got into this, what it's about, and how it's changed my life dramatically. Last episode, I talked about how I discovered light workers, what the concept of that was, and how it's resonated with me over the past uh, six months or so. And that kind of naturally fed into uh, me learning about energy healing and uh, starting to train in all these different disciplines and modalities as uh, what I believed to be part of my uh, purpose and calling in this world in my new kind of spiritual era, if you will. So chronologically, um, had a tarot reading done in the uh, beginning of December 2023 with one of my mentors. Uh, this turned up a whole lot of things that were very surprising to hear that I'll get into in uh, next episode as well. But one of them, I was really um, looking for guidance regarding my love life and as well as kind of directions for a new career calling. Since I had quit my job, I had been a long time IT professional and just didn't think that that was important anymore. And I wanted to do something more fulfilling with my life, something that could be in greater service to people. And uh, the answer that came from the tarot reading was, you should look into energy healing. And I had no idea what that was at all. So I Googled it and it's a bunch of terminology that, you know, is pretty difficult to understand from someone that is not in it or doesn't have any kind of uh, deep, spiritual beliefs or is not open-minded to the possibility that things work in different ways that are not as easily proven so i was like okay energy healing whatever um you know it's it's a it's something to at least look into so um i started getting a bunch of synchronicities and if you haven't been following the video synchronicities are when you get a bunch of <clears throat> identical kind of words or phrases or are guided to one specific thing from a bunch of different sources whether that be tv commercials songs movies tv shows just random people saying things seeing things on signs or on license plates or anything so i started getting a, a phrase that kept coming to me and it was just constant over the course of like three or four days and it was just the phrase was wake up wake up i would i would get it everywhere i would get it in my dreams songs tv commercials and it was just every time it came on it just really piqued my attention and i was like okay and at this point i was very in tune with like okay if you start to see these synchronicities then there's something to it but wake up is pretty vague so uh one morning after all the synchronicities started happening uh, I googled like energy healing again or something related to that and the first thing that came up on the Google results was something called the Awake Energy Academy and I was like okay that seems to be where this wake up thing is like pointing me to so I checked the place out and they have a lot of information on the website and uh, the, the founder of it has like a lot of she does like, nice videos explaining a lot of the concepts to people who aren't familiar and I was just guided to do like a consultation call with them. I was like, let me check it out. You know, this is where I've been kind of guided. So got on the phone um, with the uh, the founder. Actually, it was the second in command. And we talked it out. And I was just like I'm looking to do something more profound with my life. And I was telling her about my, my spiritual awakening journey. And she was like, I understand all this. Like a lot of the people that have come through the academy are on a similar journey. And it was just the vibes are good. They were very accepting. Uh, there was a pretty steep financial commitment to make to join this academy. Um, but I felt at the right time I had the, the finances available and I was like, fuck it, like, let's go. Um, I'm going to go all in on this thing. Um, not only is it kind of um, something that's like a very good discipline just for like um, my fulfillment and doing something great for, you know, people, but it can also be turned into a pretty lucrative career. It's a very booming industry that's underserved right now. It's very niche and I feel like there's a lot of growth opportunity. People are really gonna start to see how effective this is compared to uh, modern and traditional medicine. And uh, I believe that the people who are uh, training and working in this discipline 
are really going to be on the forefront of something big uh, moving forward. That, that was before I even knew anything about this, but I just decided that it was super interesting. It was like a combination of spirituality and scientific principles. So I jumped in and uh, I started doing the work and it's an online academy. And what I didn't know, I just figured, you know, they would give me some coursework or whatever. And it was pitched like, you know, you would have practice time with people who knew what they were doing. And I was like, oh, that sounds good. But it's turned out to be so much more. It's It's been a community that's saved me quite literally. Um, we are on Zoom calls once or twice a day, pretty much, like five or six days a week. The... Uh, the founder of the academy is very hands-on. We have like, alumni that have graduated the academy that have gone on to start their own practices, very successful practices that come back and volunteer their time and facilitate some of the calls during the week. And it's just a lot of beautiful kind of sharing of knowledge, uh, wisdom, techniques, and everyone's journey. And it's just, I've found my people. These are people that I vibe with that are on similar journeys to me. And in order to kind of practice energy healing, you have to go through a remarkable amount of healing yourself. And I had already kind of been on this journey with my whole self-improvement kick that I had been going through that had kind of expedited after I had my spiritual awakening. But this is a whole nother level. This is diving into your deepest traumas, identifying them and pulling them out to really become more of a clear channel so that you can have the ability to help others that were in similar circumstances. Um, so energy healing in general, um, before I get too much further into the weeds, that was just my, my introduction to the Awake Energy Healing Academy. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, you need to kind of uh, be very open-minded to what I'm about to say. So there are really two principles that help explain it. These are principles steeped in kind of the spirituality that I've chosen to believe that most religion doesn't teach. I believe it's kind of mentioned in Hinduism and some of the principles are actually taught in yoga as well. But one of the main ones is that we as human beings, we are not our bodies. So we are instead eternal spirits made of light and love that are inhabiting our bodies. Um, and that's done through the concept of the soul. So the best analogy that I can give you is that you have to kind of think of yourself as separate from your body for any of this to make any sense. It's a real big principle in spirituality and it goes into um, reincarnation and what happens after you die as well. But in general, the analogy that I've been using to explain to people who are not familiar is if you think of the superhero Iron Man from the Marvel comics and the Marvel movies, right? So Iron Man is the name on the movies. If you, know, you talk about anything about the movies, you're like, oh yeah, Iron Man part was cool. You know, he was in his suit and he was flying around shooting lasers and saving the day and whatever. And Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man. Iron Man is equivalent to me, the human person, Steven Sentes. But Iron Man is not actually Iron Man. That's not who he is. Iron Man is Tony Stark. Tony Stark is inside that suit. That is the essence of Iron Man. Iron Man doesn't operate without Tony Stark. Not in the same way, at least. He's the one that's, you know, controlling everything and making the decisions and thinking and feeling about different things. And ultimately, he's the one who ultimately should get the credit for saving the day. His name is not on the, you know, the movie title or whatever, and he's not referred to in that kind of way. But there's a separation. There's Iron Man, who some people, you know, if, if you were to suspend belief, um, you know, be like, oh, it's Iron Man, Iron Man, Iron Man. But Iron Man is actually Tony Stark. I, Steven Sentez, that is not who I am. I am an eternal spiritual being that is inside me. The name is unknown because the names of our spirits and souls are not um, intelligible to the human language. It's too simple. They have really long names that are um, made up in sounds and all these different types of light languages that I'm not fully familiar with. I don't know what my actual soul name is or my spirit name is, but it's it's not Steven Sentez. This is just the avatar, the 
the vessel, the vehicle that I've chosen to inhabit in this lifetime. So we are made up as a spiritual being of energy and light and love. And because of that, that is one of the reasons why energy healing actually works. The other tenet of energy healing and spirituality that I believe in in general is that we are all connected by energy. So we are connected to God, the creator, source, the universe, to every living thing on this planet and every other planet. So there are energetic bonds that go into everything. We are one mass of energy that's all connected. And because of this, you can affect other people's energy um, consciously and unconsciously. So if you've ever been into a room with someone and you're like, you just get a good feeling from this person or like the, you feel like the vibes change or like, oh, this person walked in, he's the life of the party. That is an energy exchange that happens. Typically, when you get within six feet of a person, you do an energy exchange and you don't even know it. You basically take in the energy that they're embodying at the time and you incorporate that into your being and that makes you feel a certain way about someone. Um, there are other factors, but those are the two general concepts that help understand kind of why energy healing is a thing and it works. So we are made of light and energy. We are not flesh and blood. Everything that happens to us medically for the most part anything that has symptoms diseases common cold sickness um you know different things that happen to your body conditions these things all have energetic spiritual and or emotional root causes they are not what medicine um dictates them to be medicine is a very limited understanding of what is going on it's seen through a lens of lack of understanding. And that is why most of the solutions that you get medically are not 100% solutions. You take medicine for a headache. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. You know, you have procedures done to fix different things in your body, surgeries. Sometimes those things go wrong. It's because common traditional Western medicine is not the end all be all. It is a limited understanding of how to fix problems within this human body. Energy healing, however, is a different way to do things that can get quicker and better results to fix a variety of different things. I've seen literal miracles happen with regards to energy healing. And even before energy healing, I was um, still kind of looking into like faith matters and Christianity things. And I had gotten involved in some circles with um, some people that were proclaiming they were faith healers. And I had seen some videos and some live streams of them having events and like healing people with their hands. I thought it was pretty amazing, but it was hard to tell like, you know, what is staged and what is not these days, right? Um, the amazing part about energy healing is you can do this from afar there's not a proximity that needs to happen. It's a discipline that you need to learn how to control. But, um, and it's not just one thing. Energy healing is a suite of tools. Um, so the most commonly practiced one in the West is a discipline called Reiki, R-E-I-K-I. -I. That is kind of the most effective and the backbone of a lot of modern energy healing. But there are a lot of other different things. There's hypnotherapy, NLP, neuro linguistic programming. There are techniques that you can actually update and overwrite DNA within the body. Sounds fucking crazy, but I've seen it. Um, what else? Uh, there are sound healing techniques, certain frequencies and certain instruments can evoke healing in the body. Um, there are visual healing techniques with um, colors. Um, it's pretty extensive, the amount of different things that exist that it kind of get bundled into what's known as energy healing or holistic healing or spiritual healing. Um, and it's been just a pretty amazing adventure to kind of understand these things through the teachings and see them being practiced on a daily basis. I've seen... I've seen things in person. Um, when I went to um, my retreat, 
um, last month in Mount Shasta that are unexplainable through logic and scientific reason. Um, people that have been completely cured of terminal illnesses and long-standing problems where it was like completely obvious that they were having a particular issue and then it was completely solved. Um, there are just so many examples and I'm not going to be able to convince you just by speaking. So it's, it's like anything with kind of spirituality and the journey I'm on, you kind of have to be shown this, um, in order for it to really resonate. But there are plenty of examples out there and plenty of people that kind of vouch for this. So I've been on this journey, um, in this academy, just kind of fellowshipping with people who are also learning this, some people who are masters at it. And uh, I've made some real progress um, healing myself with these principles, healing some friends that have been open to uh, dealing with it, and then healing some of my classmates in kind of practice. And I've provided this service to um, a, a specific person that I ran into a few months ago and cured him of a long time illness that he had had for five years. There was a a homeless man that I had kind of befriended in the area that I used to live and I was uh, looking out for him because he was really struggling. I did a lot of things and I'm not going to go into all that detail. But at some point um, when I first met him, he had this horrible um, kind of stomach virus that he had carried and he was just very sick and not in great shape and kind of on his last legs. Um, and I made sure that he was fed and, and housed for a time but I was really concerned about this medical issue because, you know, the medical situation, you know, if you don't have insurance, you know, you're, you're not going to get treatment or great treatment at all. Um, the shelters that he was staying in were just not great. Um, he was kind of getting worse there. So I performed my first energy healing on a stranger and it didn't happen immediately, but within like three or four weeks, uh, I got a random phone call from him and he was like, I'm completely healed. I feel awesome. Like I'm about to go back to work. And he started telling me about all these great things that happened that he had got um, accepted into another shelter that was like a county over that was like much better as a Franciscan shelter and pretty much was able to kind of start to get his life back together. And that felt awesome that I was able to do like that for someone just through the limited stuff that I had learned in, you know, four months of energy healing training. So I've seen the shit work and I'm continuing to work on my discipline so that I can help others. I'm not sure whether it's going to be my next career, but I know that the principles here, I mean, you can basically be your own doctor or you can be a doctor to any of your friends and family and be able to help them with not only physical issues, but more importantly, like mental and psychological issues, emotional issues. You can clear like PTSD and childhood traumas and all kinds of stuff um, that people struggle with and don't even know that they carry around just through these techniques. So I'm pretty excited to continue my journey into learning injury healing and beginning to practice it more often. And uh, I hope at the very least that you get um, a little bit interested in maybe just looking up a little bit more about this. So I'm gonna drop some links in the uh, comments, one for my Energy Healing Academy because they give a pretty good um, kind of summary of some of this stuff. Um, and again, that's the Awake Energy Healing Academy founded by Dr. Rebecca Sullivan. She's amazing. Shout out to her and everyone in Awake for, uh, yeah, just accepting me and helping me along and just uh, being great friends to me along this difficult journey that I've been on. So thanks for checking me out. Hopefully this was insightful and uh, tomorrow's video is going to be on my twin flame journey. So don't miss that. It's crazy stuff. As always, peace, love and light.